Hi everyone, John here again from Helpful IT. This video is a follow-up to our video regarding enabling Windows 10 remote desktop connections. What I'm going to show you now is how you can access your Windows 10 PC via remote desktop from an external location, so another office, someone a friend's house or some anything like that. Um, so this video assumes that you followed the previous video to enable remote desktop. Um, what you now need to do is access your router and find your internal IP address for your machine. I can show you the first one by hitting start, opening up command prompt by typing cmd. Once you have the black box, if you type ipconfig slash all, this will show all the connections, network connections on this machine. Now I know I'm connected via a Wi-Fi connection, so my Wi-Fi gives me my local IP address. So if we scroll up, my IP address is 192.168.0.12. You can tell that because it's a wireless LAN card, which I'm using to connect to the internet. What you need to do now is access your router. Um, mine is a Virgin router and the options are very straightforward. I think if you can follow these steps, you, if you had a different router, you should be able to access and get to a port forwarding issue uh, point without any too many issues. Um, what you need to know, obviously, is your local IP address of your router. Um, nine times out of ten, if you've got a 192.168.0 um, subnet, it'll be 0 0.1. It's a one subnet, it'll be 192.168.1.1. A lot of the time, the router's informa login information, if it's a new router, will be on the back of the router that will give, tell you what IP address to use and how to access. Right, assuming you've got that, let's get into my router. And for Virgin Smart Hub routers, it's advanced settings. You scroll down to port forwarding and what we want to do is create a rule called remote desktop RDP for short and the port number for remote desktop is 3389 so we start and end the rule with 3389 and the IP address we want to use is 12 so we apply that rule so we do Okay, so that rule is applied for on the router level rather than just on the PC now. So the last thing we need to do is obviously the 192.168.0.12 IP address is the internal IP address of the laptop. If you're accessing, trying to access the laptop from outside of your local area network, you're going to need the external IP address of your router. And the way to find that out is to Google what is my IP. This is my one at the moment. And we basically want to RDP from a separate location to this IP address, and that will then forward the traffic to your local IP address of your laptop. Uh, please be aware that with a lot of home routers, you'll have what's called dynamic DHCP for your IP address. So usually if you restart your router or depending on the ISP, it may be that every 30 days your IP address changes. So if you have any trouble connecting in on your current IP, public IP address, it'll be worth just doing a Google again, just of what is my IP in case it's changed. Now the good thing is if it does change, the rule will still be there. So you just need to connect to the new IP address and you'll still be able to access your machine. I'm gonna show you from a separate location that this works now. So I've opened up remote desktop. You can do that by typing MSTSC in the start window. Copy in the IP address. And as you can see, I'm at the login prompt and using my local username and password on the laptop, I'd be able to gain access. Obviously, I can't show you now because I'd be in a constant loop of connecting in and being on the same laptop. I hope this helps. If there's anything else we can do or anything we've missed, please give me a shout and follow our YouTube channel for more hints and tips. Thank you. Bye-bye.